coronavirus seems to be impacting people more than it really should. A lot of people have talked about this, and now it's my turn. So, granted, coronavirus is a very dangerous thing, hence the reason it's called coronavirus. But there's more of a panic still. Even with how dangerous it is, there's more of a panic than there really should be. Um, granted, the numbers are pretty big for the start of the virus, for how many people have gotten it and passed from it compared to past, but a lot of those numbers, they're not, like, in an uncontrolled envi environment. In fact, a lot of them are within a controlled environment. Um, bear in mind, before I continue on any more of this, I am no doctor. I study this stuff, but I am no professional. Um, I will also have a link to... Uh, where I'm getting this information, which is the main site that holds all the information for COVID-19 and a video that I found that actually enlightened my mind a little bit. Two videos, actually. One from Markiplier, or Mark Fishbach, and the other from Dr. Mike. Those two videos actually brought a lot of light to my mind, and I was like, people are freaking out more than they really should. Granted, this is dangerous, but the only, the major one of the major reasons for that is just because we don't know very much about it. We don't know how to resolve something. We don't know how to fix it. We don't know the symptoms when it's like a new disease. Of course it's going to be dangerous. Like, a prime example of this is like when... When, we, when the fir flu first came out, since we didn't know what to do about it, it was way more dangerous than it is now. It's just... What was that? I don't know. It's just a fact. Whenever you get, like, a new disease or illness of some kind, it's dangerous at first because you don't know what to do. Now, this is just one of the reasons. Um, but... For some enlightenment, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I know about coronavirus as fact and the reason I think it makes it less dangerous. Well, not less dangerous, but less worrisome than what people let out. Let's go ahead and start with the symptoms of coronavirus. Coronavirus's main sim three symptoms are generally you'll either get a fever, uh, you'll start coughing in the middle of nowhere excessively or you'll well your your lungs will start getting kind of not not completely blocked off but clogged a little bit you can still breathe but it becomes troublesome those are like the three major uh symptoms of it and it makes it so it's kind of obvious where if you have major lung issues or heart, chronic heart um, circumstances where it's, whether it's CHF or just generic heart disease, you gotta be careful. One similarity between that and the flu is that um, it's... Deadly to those who are elderly and toddlers. Now, a difference, again, is that is what I listed prior to that, which is who it, what kind of people it can affect. Also can affect those who have, like, cancer or, or who are cancer patients from the past. People like that. Um, it becomes very dangerous. Rather than deadly, it's still, it's very dangerous, and you've got to be more cautious. But people recently have been going, oh, wait, it's dangerous? Oh, it must be deadly. It, they're over-exaggerating it. Like, yes, you gotta be cautious. Yes, it's not a safe thing in any way whatsoever. It is dangerous, but people treat it as if it's just instant deadly. And, well, to an extent, maybe, but not to the extent that people are letting it out to believe. Um, now, on to another piece of this, 
the coronavirus the coronavirus's statistics i keep up to date and they do change uh depending on how far in we are since it started but one thing i've noticed is a lot of people who are not being tested not being like control in a controlled area um about the coronavirus or those who don't like live around people who have traveled or work around people who have traveled freak out over it and there's no reason whatsoever well not no reason but it's over exaggerated and they don't have any kind of supportive evidence to say hey this is why i'm freaking out because i have the coronavirus because this because they don't have those circumstances In any case, I wasn't going to make this video as long as otherwise. I do think that this whole coronavirus thing is getting a little bit out of hand compared to where it should be. News articles are being thrown out there that in the long haul are just causing people to get scared. Uh, there are people uh, throwing out false claims or it's not dangerous. We could just give it all, give it to everyone. Nothing bad will happen. That's not true. But it's definitely not true that it's deadly. It's it, not entirely, at least. It's dangerous, granted, but it's not to the sense where it's like everybody's going to die. Because it is fixable. It is, it is uh, like, repairable. It, it, it's not... It, it, it's not like one of those diseases where... It's just not possible to survive it. In fact, most people do survive it. 82%, if I remember correctly from uh, Dr. Mike's video. I might, get, I might have the statistics a little mixed up on that one, but I do remember thinking, well, that's definitely way more than most... And that's almost... Like, that's not worrisome. Especially not as worrisome as people make it out to believe. That's not to say you shouldn't be cautious. In fact, it's just an emphasize. The way I see it, it's an emphasizer on good hygiene. Make sure you're doing good hygiene, and you'll be fine. Simple as that, right? Except most people in the world don't seem to care about their hygiene. Anyway, I am going to leave this video here. It's just I wanted to throw my thoughts on the coronavirus out there. Um, I'm not panicking. I've got a couple, I've got a friend who thought they had it, so I'm just kind of keeping a watch over them off of this mindset because I do honestly believe they'll be fine. I believe pretty much anybody who's not at the living around people who travel a lot will be fine. That being said, again, I'm going to leave this video here. I'll leave a link to Mark's and Dr. Mike's uh, videos in the description below along with the website link for the coronavirus uh, circumstances and what you can do to make sure that you're protected from it, what you can do to protect others if you end up getting it, yada yada yada, the symptoms and all that kind of shenanigans. In any case, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, I'm not going to talk much about this, I just wanted to talk about this once, but Look forward to another Discussions Rants video tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.